Lamatu Jamein, you're watching on Real TV. Upcoming actor from Nagaland, Andrea Kevichusa, has made a mark in her nascent career in acting in the Indian film industry by winning the award for the Best Debut Female at the 68 Hyundai Film Fair Awards 2023. The award is considered one of the most prestigious awards in the film industry in India. She won the award for her role as Aido in the movie Anek. The Hyundai Film Fair Awards was conducted on April 28 at the Geo Convention Center in Mumbai. Salman Khan and Manish Paul were the host of the show. Today it's a pleasure to have the budding actor to interact with us. Hello Andrea, can you hear me? Hi, welcome to Hornbill TV and first of all we'd like to congratulate you for your big win and thank you so much for giving us your time and agreeing to speak to us today. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for having you. me. Yeah, thank you for having me again. So Andrea, uh, we would like firstly we would like to know about how are you feeling right now? It's a big win, not just for uh, you, but the whole of Northeast also. So how are you feeling? You know, what's the experience I like think so far? What I feel most is gratitude because I've had so much love and support. So I think that's the main feeling I'm getting right now. As you know, it was a big moment, not just for you, but the Norties as a whole. We're also so happy and I can only imagine how happy your family is with the win. So, uh, how was the reaction from your family and friends when you won? I think um, it was mostly disbelief because even I didn't think I was going to win. I mean, being honored in itself is such a huge, uh, being nominated in itself is such a huge honor. Um, and, you know, I was very happy with the nomination itself, and so were my family and friends. And so, you know, when I went there, I mean, I didn't know that I was going to win. So uh, when, they uh, when they announced my name, I was very surprised, and um, yeah, it was a very pleasant surprise, and we're all very happy. As much as we were excited to watch you receive the award and then give your acceptance speech, as you know, we watched it just a few days ago. Uh, we were also mm -hmm. so curious to know about what was running, you know, what was going on on your mind at that point of time because you were amidst uh, such big celebrities, actors at that point of time. I think, um, as I said, I wasn't expecting to win. Um, and the other contenders also had a very strong chance of winning. Right. Um, but... Uh, you know, they announced my name and I hadn't had a speech prepared or anything. So I went up there and um, I dedicated the award to everyone back home. Um, and it was, uh, I think, it was a very proud moment for me as well because I think this is a collective win for all of us. Right. This is a huge step for all of us and I hope that it opens doors for everyone. Right, it was definitely a proud moment uh, for the whole of Northeast to say. So, uh, who are you most excited to meet? Honestly, I was most excited about watching the performances because right. they're so lively and it's so fun to watch people dancing on stage. So, yeah, I mean, I, I actually didn't know the um, performance lineup. I didn't know who was going to be performing that day. Right. So, as mentioned, uh, this is a big win. So, uh, who do you attribute your success to? Um, I have so many people to thank. I think I would start with my family, of course, for allowing me to venture into an industry that none of us were familiar with. Um, my team in Mumbai and uh, the entire cast and crew of Anik for the love and support. So I have so many people to thank. I think it has almost been a year since you last spoke to Onville TV and I think that was uh, before your film Anik was released. So what changes have come about uh, in your life since then? What changes? Um, well, I am now the proud owner of uh, a film fair award. Yes, <laughs> I think of that's a change. But besides that, I think things have been pretty much the same. Um, I think I have my family to thank for that, for keeping me grounded, I guess. Also, what have you been up to uh, all this time after the release? Um, well, I'm starting my international career as a model, and I'm very excited to see what the European or American markets have in store for me as a model. But besides that, my main priority at the moment is getting my degree because I really need my degree. So yeah, I think uh, for the coming few months, we're just studying for exams. So what about after the exams and after your results? Uh, I mean, of course, you'll get through. That's what we know <laughs> by now. So, um, would you focus more on modeling or acting? What have you thought? Have you thought about it? 
I think uh, I would love to do both because that's how it has been for the past, I think, year or so. Um, and it's been great. And I think I would love to do both. I don't think I would leave one or the other for the other profession. Right. If I'm not mistaken, then the movie Anek released on May last year, right? So uh, yes. you have uh, mentioned in your interviews, I mean, I've watched uh, quite a lot of your interviews also, and that you have mentioned that you were not so familiar with the Hindi films or uh, Bollywood as a whole. So how is your journey so far in the film industry and also is Bollywood uh, welcoming? How has your whole experience been? Um, well, since I have only done one film and I'm still the new kid, um, I'm still figuring things out. Um, but so far, it's been great. People have been very gracious to me. Um, so I think I would only have positive things to say. Right. So when the film uh, released, did you get, uh, you know, a, I mean, you got a lot of appreciation for your acting also. Did you expect to uh, get that acceptance and also the whole uh, love and support from the viewers? Um, I think for most of it, I it was very overwhelming uh, because um, I think I'm a more reserved kind of person. So to get a lot of attention was very overwhelming. There was a lot of love. Right. Um, I got a lot of messages from people back home. And I think that was very heartwarming because um, being a newcomer and un being unfamiliar with all these things, I think uh, things can get a bit... Um, intimidating at times but knowing that there are so many people that support you i think that really helps your morale right also as this is your first film and your debut as an actress uh, are you still uh, take and you have mentioned earlier that you took some uh, acting classes as well are you still continuing with the classes or how is it um those acting classes were primarily for my role in anik so after that was over um i discontinued my classes uh, but I am open to taking more classes <laughs> if the opportunity arises. Right, right. So was your journey to film fair easy? Since, uh, like you've mentioned, this is your first. So, and film fair is a very prestigious award, like, like we've been mentioning uh, all this while. Uh, was it easy? And if not, uh, what are the obstacles that you had faced? Um, well, before the show, I found out uh, about my nomination just a few days prior to that. Um, and as I said, it was a huge honor to be nominated. And, um, you know, I wasn't expecting to win. And uh, it, it's been good. Like, my journey has been good. Um, and I only have good things to say. I don't think I've, I face obstacles as such. Right. So, yeah, this, it's been, uh, you know, I've had a very gracious experience. Right. Uh also, Andrea, like you have mentioned um, in some of your interviews, on many occasions we uh, we cannot deny that we, as Northeasterners, you know, people uh, people who look different from the rest of the people there in uh, the mainland Indians, uh, we see that we know that we face a lot of discrimination. And you have mentioned that there are also uh, different layers of discrimination, but you have also, in your, on your mm -hmm. way, faced uh, discrimination in some uh, some ways. Uh, I would also want to know if it's the same now, now that people know you, is it the same? Or, uh, I mean, yeah, do you face any discrimination? Well, um, I started my career as a model, and I would say that the modeling industry is uh, more open to inclusivity and people are generally more sensitive and aware. Um, and so I've had good experiences as a model and you know um, being from I mean being looking different or being different has only ever given me more opportunities um, and so and I and I think you know um, my entry into the film industry as well the film that I've done it is primarily focused on that matter um, and I and so I can't say that I have faced discrimination as such you know career-wise like you mentioned, it's just your uh, it's your first film only. But do you feel any difference in your life after entering into film industry, or is it the same? I think I get recognized a lot more back home <laughs> whenever I'm home. Uh, but besides that, yeah, I mean, I'm still I don't know. I'm I think that is for other people to say, not me. Right. But I feel the same. So yeah. What about there? Do you get recognized there when you go out in the streets? Uh, people come mm -hmm. out there. Uh, uh, you mean in the city? Yes, yes. 
I do, I do. Um, it has happened. I mean, I don't go out very often, but whenever I do, it does happen sometimes. Now you winning the award, see, uh, what impact do you think it's uh, over the years we haven't seen a lot of representations when it comes to the northeast or people uh, representation of I mean people from the northeast. So what impact which do you think it would have on the people of the northeast that you winning the award this time? Well, as I said, I think me winning this award is a collective win for all of us, and uh, we can only hope for the best. We can only hope that it opens more doors for people people back home, um, and that. Are I guess uh, we are more normalized into the mainstream media. So Andrea, uh, I would also want to know in a good way, right? Uh, in a good way, uh, how had, how do you think success has changed you over the years and over this phase after the release um, of Anne? I don't know how it has changed me. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. I like I said, I feel the same. I don't know. Like I think that it's for other people to say and not me. But I genuinely I feel the same right so you're very uh grounded in that way so that's a very good thing that um, you're seeing I, I, I don't know if i can say that <laughs> so uh the big question here is any upcoming projects or any upcoming movies uh do you have in your hands right now um well like i said i am concentrating on getting my degree because i really want it and i need it so uh, my main priority is to study at the moment and of course to venturing into a uh, further into my modeling career but um you know if i mean i'm definitely excited about taking career as well um and i hope that i am successful in all spheres of my life yeah. since now you have already started uh, your journey in the film industry and if you uh, if you get any roles what kind of movies are you looking forward to doing i mean what kind of movies would you like to uh act um, in I think I would love to work. I think I've said this before in an interview with Pondo TV. Only, um, okay. I would love to work filmmakers from back home. I would love to work in independent films um, if anyone would have me. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'd be really interesting to uh, work in films uh, where our stories are being told by right. you know people from back home. Yeah. That would that would be great. And also, if uh, you get to uh, have you know. Uh, act besides big stars here. I mean Bollywood stars. Is there anyone in particular that you would want to act with? I I really like Shah Rukh Khan and I okay. really like um, Deepika Padukone. So <laughs> fingers crossed. Here's to hoping one day. We're very much hopeful that we'll get to see you sharing the screen with them very soon. I will always be hoping and praying for that as well. Yeah. See um uh. Now, what changes? I, I want to know what changes do you want? Uh, do you want to see in the Bollywood when it comes to uh, you know representation of the Northeast? Is there anything as such that you would want to see any changes? Um, well, I, I would. I think I'll start off this answer by saying that there has been a lot of progressive change over the years because you see a lot of um, web series or films being shot in the Northeast or uh, having a like scripts written based on where we're from and I think that's a, that's amazing. Um, uh, we can only hope for the best from now. I hope that uh, more actors or more talent, more filmmakers from back home uh, get to come into the mainstream um, platform and that their talents are further tapped into right. the industry. Uh, see, Andrea, every industry, as we know, including the entertainment industry, it's full of competition. So what do you do to stand out amidst a competition? We'd also want to know that. Um, I don't know if I've done anything in particular to stand out out of competition. I think um, for me, my career in this industry, I think it was just a very being at the right place in the right time kind of thing. And I think the best that I could do is embrace my luck and how fortunate I am. And whatever opportunities I've been given, the best I can do is to put in my 100% um, and be really passionate and hardworking about it. So yeah, I think that's the only thing that I could do. As you see, the entertainment industry is ever uh, changing. Where do you see yourself in uh, five years from now? Five years from now, I hope 
to be a more successful model and a more successful actor and hopefully have my degree. <laughs> And then you yeah. you'll have a lot in your hands at that point of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yep. so, uh, as we all know, India is a country where people give immense importance on entertainment, and the actors and actresses. I mean, the actors are considered no, not less than gods. Also, I mean, mm -hmm. look at Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, yeah. and everybody. <laughs> so, however, only recently, Nortis and a handful of actors uh, and from the noughties are getting featured in movies mm -hmm. and series. So how do you think we can bridge the gap between the two? And also, do you think that there should be uh, more movies made based on the lives and the cultures of the noughties? Uh, I, mean, I mean, which will also act as an opportunity to educate people about the noughties. So what do you think about that? I think that is uh, definitely a great uh, step to be able to have more film made about where we're from and our culture. Um, and as for the actors, I mean, at the end of the day, the power does lie in the hands of the filmmakers and the producers and the writers. Um, and I think for an actor, I think the best we can do is to hone our skills and uh, be more confident and try our, you know, like try our best to um, sharpen our skills. I think that is the only thing we can do. Um, and hopefully that, that Hopefully this win opens doors for everyone and um, it's also important to recognize all the filmmakers that have uh, made films um, back home and that have reached the international film circuit, you know, international film festivals and such. Right. Um, so I do see a very uh, positive change and I hope that things get better from here on out. Andrea, we do understand that you'll be very busy these days uh, doing interviews after interviews, so we won't take up much of your time here. We are already grateful and uh, it's, I mean, uh, happy that you could speak to us. But uh, lastly, do you have any uh, message to the people of Nagaland? Um, to everyone in Nagaland, thank you so much for the love and thank you so much for the support. Um, like I said, this win is for all of us. Um, and I hope to see many more of you in this industry in the coming years. Nice. All right, thank you so much, Andrea, for to uh, taking out your time for us. Congratulations once again, and we wish you the best for your future endeavors. And I'd also like thank to say you. that uh, we are very confident that you will bring more laurels to the state. Thank you thank so you much. So much. Thank you so much. That is such a <laughs> great wish. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking to us. That's all we'll have for now. Keep watching on Bull TV.